in Munich and we have the absolute delight to be guested by the one and only Leroy Sané. Great to have you here. Leroy Sané is one of the fastest players on the ball and that is why obviously he's going to teach us some tips and tricks on how to run faster with the ball. So, what's the secret? I mean, well, there's not really a secret, but um, I think, yeah, obviously it depends on how much space you got. Obviously, if you have lots of space, then um, obviously it's important that you give like um, a good distance to the ball so you can keep up your space and obviously like hold it too. Um, that is obviously not too far away, um, that the defender cannot uh, exactly. go in between and get the ball. But like, um, yeah, if you have space, obviously, um, uh, that you can run faster if you put the ball further in front of you. But um, I mean, if you know like your opponents are closer and you still want to dribble fast and quick, then obviously it's important that um, yeah you do like a lot of touches. Yeah. Because like this, you still kind of like kind of like react to the yeah the reaction of the opponents. And you can still, change direction. Yeah, change direction, yeah. but like obviously still like it's harder for them to know okay like when is the next touch, when is the next touch. Yeah. Um, but like, like this, you see was obviously. More of this, more like with like smaller players who um, can still dribble like quick with the ball because they can take more touches. But that's why it's important, um, and I think yeah, that's that's kind of like a secret. That's a lot of information to take in, boys and girls. <laughs> so uh, remember that. But when it comes to the the stride, for example, like how would you explain the stride? You know how you put your feet down when you are, you know, going in motion. Yeah, um, I mean like obviously when I dribble quick and I think obviously it's the most comfortable way I think for us footballers but I mean like also the best way if you like, yeah if you touch the ball with the, the forward you know and not with the inside so it's like because you have a better touch with yeah. it. Um, I think every single time when you like full speed run and you take the inside like you obviously kind of always have to like stop again. Exactly. So like this you have like more the natural movement like keep running because after that you have your toe mm. on the ground quicker. Would you would you ever touch the ball with your inside when you're running at speed? Yes, yeah, sometimes you do but it's more like if you want to look okay where is somebody or the, the ball is more on the outside of, of, of your body yeah. then you just sometimes take the ball with the inside just to bring it back forward to you but the natural way or like more the better way it's like yeah to do with the outside or like with your toe. So how do you like let's say you accelerate past a player you say that you sometimes do very very short touches and then sometimes you do very long touches how do you set that up when you are going towards an opponent for example trying to accelerate past them? Yeah first of all it's a good thing though um, first of all you want to if you come closer to opponent mm. you want to have to go closer to you. Yeah have more touches so it's difficult more for him to know okay like where is he going what is yeah. he doing or to tackle the ball um, but like as soon as you know okay you want to pass him then you kind of like try to put the ball in front of you so you can accelerate quicker and get into the ball and pass with this at the same time though. because then you don't have to think about the ball yes you just right. go full you see the space especially behind him yeah. and you know okay like now it's the time I put the ball at the side or want to go past them. That's why you see the most of the players, they yeah. just kind of like get a little bit slower when they come to opponent yeah. to just like see, okay, how is his behavior? But like most of the time, okay, you just do it because he doesn't know when you accelerate again. Exactly. So for him, he's always seconds behind you. So if you do that and start putting the ball in front of him, and just start accelerating, especially if you're like quicker than him. So it's like more difficult for him to catch you again. So that's your way of utilizing your speed is to like, you know when you are going to accelerate past. So that's where you go slow and then go fast. That's yes, right. For the other one, it's like obviously the opponent is like hard to know. OK, what is he doing? Is he yeah. like trying to pass the ball or is he like trying to dribble me? Um, and he doesn't always know, OK, what is behind him, obviously, because he has no eyes on his yeah. back. Um, but yeah, that's like kind of like the thing you try to do. So is there any like big no-nos, any don't? Like don't do this if you want to dribble fast with the ball? Um, I mean like there's not really like big no-nos. Obviously it's like, yeah, you still have to kind of like know where the ball is. Yeah, and your opponents. And your opponents yeah. obviously. So it's not like that you can just always look down, look down. So I mean like the best way is if you can dribble and try to learn it. Obviously it's also not that easy. Um, but like try to knock it where's the ball with your feet so you dribble with your head up. Yeah, okay, okay. Because that's just even like much more worse for the opponent because he knows, okay, he's not even looking at the ball, you know, like he's just like 
is aware of everything on the field, of his opponent, his teammates, you know, know what's going on. So it's like even better if he can do this, obviously. But um, there's no really like... I mean, that's a very good no-no. Just don't keep your head yeah, like this because All you the won't be able up, to cause... orient through the field. <laughs> you don't see your opponents. You don't know. You only know where the ball is. So know where the ball is. Know right? where the ball is. They obviously know where the ball is. Feel where the ball is with your touches. Obviously, like you know a little bit like, okay, did I put the ball a little bit too far away or yeah. not? Is it like closer? Well, obviously, it's just like also about the feeling a little bit. So have you trained anything in specific? like? to be this good? Actually, not really. I mean, like, we always played on the street, you know, it's not like the best pitch ever. Mm -hmm. So, like, obviously, you just try your best to keep the ball close to you, dribble good. So, like, you just get it. Yeah, like, you learn it from that a little bit too, but um, it's not like really that I did exercises. Obviously, for me, I don't know, it just came up like this. I, li uh, I like to do it to dribble. I mean, like you're forward, so like a striker, so you kind of want to do it. Um, and you Imagine just, just being like that, you know? <laughs> Imagine just like, yeah, this is just what I am. I'm super fast on the ball and got that technique and no, control. No, of course, I mean, like you need to... You need to train. You obviously. need to train. Obviously, there are lots of like extras you can do. Yeah. I mean, like in YouTube, I think there are a lot of people who like also like explain it, how to do, what to do. That is where you are now, explaining yeah. it to the people, <laughs> how to do it. So do you actually have any tips to the kids out there who wants to be faster and more control on the ball? Do you have any tips for them, any exercises and what to think about when, uh, when they train? Um, I mean, like, obviously, you just have to like keep going, even if it doesn't work out at the beginning. Um, you just uh, have to stay hungry and patient to just like yeah, keep going, keep to, when you want to improve. Um, and I mean, like if you just do it once a week, obviously, the the it takes longer for you to yeah. improve and um, to skill for. I mean, like if you just do it even every day, 30 minutes, it can help a lot. Um, it doesn't have to be always like three hours of yeah. something. It's just like the consistency, obviously, um, helps too, and it's also really important. And I think it's just like with dribble stuff, it's like easy things. I think you can put up like certain coins everywhere in the pitch and just try to like, yeah, dribble as quick as you can, but... Just different variations. Different variations with both feet, obviously it helps it even better. I mean, we got a lot of information packed in a very, very short video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Leroy, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Absolute gentleman. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the videos on here if you want to know how to become a better footballer. And I will see you guys, we will see you guys in the next video.